Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here. Back to try and convince our allies over at Toll Brexos to embrace the meta and protect their damn healers. In Rim World. And poor Barrow, man. His team. They just hung him out to dry. Hung him out to dry. It's no wonder they can't get quality support with protection like they're providing. Why would anyone want to play a healer? Though, you know, I can't help but notice that Barrow, he was toting a bow and arrow. Is that the reason that his team strung him out in the breeze like a bathroom rug that the dog just puked on? Is it because instead of healing, he was rolling as Hanzo? You know, if that's the case, they were right to leave him. In fact, honestly, if he was douchebagging as Hanzo instead of healing, death, frankly, may just be too good for him. If he was ball hogging instead of putting on, you know, his turn of support and playing Mercy or maybe a Lucio, they, they, they'd have been perfectly justified in let, not only letting him die, the, the justified death really would have been something far, far worse. Like, I don't know, taking him to a Russian circus, stripping him nude and staking him out for the clowns. And if you've never seen what a Russian clown is capable of, especially when confronted with a naked, helpless victim. Well, just try and imagine a pack of starving cannibals stalking a wounded Justin Bieber through the dark alleys of London, Ontario, his hometown, carving him up a chunk at a time and laughing while he weeps and begs for mercy. And that's before they actually turn mean on him. That's that's what Russian clowns do for sport. After that, you don't really want to see what's... Uh, Isamu, what the hell are you doing? Are you going to fetch the dead... Uh, I'm not really sure we should go fetch the dead guy. There's, uh... More than a little bit of alien resistance up there. You do have a minigun. Now, this is this is a real bad idea, Samu. You should really just leave. Can he slip through without even getting... Oh, never mind. The aliens aren't even going to fire a shot. I guess they just don't give a shit. All right, well, if they don't give a shit, I don't have to give a shit. Hey, let's uh, both not give a shit together. But I do need to find somebody who's got a sniper rifle and have them come out here and maybe start uh, taking some pop shots at these dudes. Lynx, you're already sort of on the way, right? Are you are you outward bound? She is very, very slowly coming out this way. I think maybe we just let Lynx wander up here, draft her, and see if we can kite a few of these guys back to base. But before we begin the kite them back to base plan, let's make sure our traps are getting armed. If we can pull one or two of these caterpillars through the old trap phase, that's going to help us out quite a bit. We can also speed up time a little bit. I don't think anybody else is going to be going out and doing, uh, why did you just dump him there, though, instead of putting him in a grave or burning him? Oh, probably because the sandstone crematorium is off. All right. We'll kick the power on long enough for somebody to burn that body, and then we'll, you know, we'll turn that back off in a minute. We're trying to keep the colony green, okay? Like Ruby Rod, it must be green. Whatever happened to Chris Tucker? Remember back in the days when Chris Tucker wasn't just, like, awful and loathsome and occasionally got work that, uh, in respectable films, you know, The Fifth Element, it's, it's actually a really good movie. Good shot, Lynx. Okay, another good one. Lynx has already done more damage with this sniper rifle in the couple shots she's taken than we did with like 8,500 mortars. Also, Lynx, you really need to run now. They're closing in on you. Yeah, he's got an incendiary launcher and we're not going to let him shoot that at us. You going to follow, though? Looks like he's still tracking a shot. Nope, he's going to go back to doing nothing. All right, Lynx, take cover. See if he can plink off a few more rounds here. Well, I don't want to get that close. You will need to be able to see him, but, I mean, we, we got to stay within reason here. There you go. Good shot. Another good one. Okay, now it's time to run like hell. We got. Let's see, we want to try and draw these guys down to us. It seems to be working. There it is. Man, Lynx is working him over, though. Got his Inferno Cannon, but he's got some gunshot wounds from this old sniping action. We need to get this guy dead, too, because I want to get... My ultimate goal is to get Svegard a new arm. Svegard has been hankering for a new appendage for a really long time, and even in... An unjust colony like we're running here, and uh, sort of every man for themselves kind of world that we live in... Every once in a while, people should get what they want. And if you try sometimes, you might find you get what you need. And what Svegard needs is a new arm, and Lynx is going to need a new head because she just got her nose shot off. 
Fantastic. She's bleeding furiously. Well, why don't you just go back to town? That was the world's greatest headshot, by the way. So, yeah, we're going to head you back to there. Might as well come down here and turn this off, then. No more bodies to be burned for the moment. Lynx, you don't need a nose to run. The lack of a nose is probably going to make breathing somewhat difficult, and I suppose running without being able to breathe properly is probably at least mildly inconvenient. Toon, let's have you come out here and see if you can get your nose shot off. No noses for anybody. We're all... We're, we're, uh, we're, we've embraced the Tyrion Lannister meta. Research is finished on ship antimatter propulsion. That's really nice. Let's pause very quickly. So what do we... Our ship research is coming along real nice. A ground penetrating scanner takes an unspeakably long time to research. But we are probably going to need one because we need a lot of steel and we don't really have an abundance of like nearby steel available. Malaria block, we don't need. Colored lights, wake up production, go juice, deep drilling. Ground penetrating scanner to find the resources. The deep drill. All right, well, let's just do ground penetrating scanner. Then Krusty's got time to research. He is the world's greatest scientist, the world's most handsome salt miner, the world's most deadliest killer of hobos. Many titles doth have Krusty Cornelius. He's a, you know, Krusty Cornelius is a renaissance man. If the renaissance were mostly focused on shooting itinerants and vagrants. Uh, speaking of which, Krusty, what, what, are, what are you doing there, buddy? Other than getting yourself murdered. Yeah, let's maybe not go haul that stuff at the moment. I'm just going to go ahead and have you take cover here. Might as well crank off a couple rounds without assault rifle since you're here. Hey, more friendlies. Did the people of Tolbrexos come back? <gasps> Tolbrexos has come back with another team. They'll be like, you're right, Pete. We got to we gotta protect the healer. Did they bring a healer this time? They got a digger, a warrior and uh, uh, an anteater, so a scout. So we're looking at this time, what they roll in with? Scout, very clearly. I mean, th th this is this is definitely a... Uh, yeah, scout. Digger. Why can't I think of her name? The little Blinky Girl. What, 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 what the hell's Blinky Girl's name? Tracer! Thank you, Anteater. So Anteater's playing the part of Tracer, Wolverine as a digger. Uh, nobody really has a shovel or digs holes, but I suppose that's like a construction related. So Wolverine is probably a Torbjorn. And then Bringa the Warrior. I mean, that's definitely a Reinhardt. Not the greatest team composition again. And I can't help but notice once again, these guys are rolling with no support. They're, they're totally bucking the meta here. These guys have gone off the reservation. How is this Caterpillar not dead? We've been ripping it open with sniper shots from long distance for the last 600 years, roughly, and it just won't die. We're still taking shots. Hey, Toll Braxos, you want to have Tracer come up here and keep him busy? <gasps> Svegard, what are you doing? I know you're desperate for a new arm. Also, your alcohol addiction is really going to make uh, this problem. No, uh, go. go. Don't, don't haul that stuff. Go back here. You know what, Svegard? Haul this. Well, first off, get drafted and run, because I don't want you getting killed. But then, uh, like, can we prioritize hauling this with Svegard? Svegard? Why can we not prioritize hauling that? We Is it because you only have one arm? He's hauling marble. Now, stop what you're doing. Now you're praying. Well, stop that. Why can't I make you haul any of this stuff? I should be able to give you, like, forced orders. Why can't I make you prioritize anything? Um, okay, he won't research. Svegard, there's, there's got to be something we can have you do other than pray. Man, the, the, guy, the guy will not do anything. What? Uh, here you go. Maybe come down here and... Can you make wart? No. Can I send you to bed? I just, I really don't want you to haul these sandstone. Well, here, you know, there is one easy way to solve this. We'll take these. Let's just forbid them. Nobody touches those for the notch. You got it? Capiche? Nobody touches the blocks at the moment. Now what are you doing? You're going to go pray? Yeah, you better pray that these guys don't spot you and murder you. Also, way to have an insult tune who's over here doing the heavy lifting. Be like, nah, I'm just going to start cracking jokes. Is everybody down? At some point, we killed this other 
We got like an accidental kill? Well, Toon's like, my job's done here. I'm going back home to relax socially. I wholeheartedly support this endeavor. You're dead. Let's haul you back to base. You, though, now we got some modifications to be working on here. Add a bill, remove part, his left blade, yes. This guy, add a bill, remove part, his left blade. Add bill, remove part, his right blade. And gimme. We're gonna make a cyber warrior out of Svegard. We're gonna cyber him up. And I'm not talking about engaging online, like, simulated sex either. We're gonna legitimately make him a cyber warrior. He's getting cybernetic implants. He's gonna become the ghost in the shell. Nice help, by the way, team. Clearly, Tol Brexus is like, well, we, you know, we, we don't, have, we don't have a healer, Pete. What are we supposed to do? What are we gonna go engage mechanoids with no healer? We got a tracer, a Torbjorn, and a Reinhardt here. We're two men short of a team, and we're some vital roles short of a team as well. Wouldn't really feel very good about engaging a dangerous foe with, with this terrible of a group composition. And they're not necessarily wrong. I don't feel good about making that many Overwatch jokes in a string. And I don't really, really feel good about the fact that I couldn't remember Tracer's name for a minute. Then again, it has been like a month since I bothered to play Overwatch too, so. Svegard? Jesus, Svegard's like, fuck this. I've had enough of your shit. I'll get my own goddamn arm, thank you. Like, I've been out here armless for 104. Oh, good. We've got the plague. Fantastic. Krusty has got the plague. Tune has got the plague, which is fantastic because he's our doctor. And Svegard has gotten the plague. Brilliant. Well, who doesn't have the plague? Lynx, you don't have the plague, do you? Could you come out here and finish killing this poison ship? I'm going to let you finish sleep. Oh, you're not even asleep. You're awake. Well, here, if you're awake, get drafted. And come out here and blow this up. Not gonna haul that arm, Svegard? Yeah, take the take take the damn arm. You came out here and got the arm and then you just left it. You did all the hard work. Dude, what are you doing? Tending to Krusty. I wholeheartedly support your tend to Krusty plan. He is the most vital member of this colony. Cluster of cargo pots. Ooh, 34 components just lying on the ground. Mana from heaven. Oh, it's going to make our escape from this piece of shit Rimworld rock dump that we so desperately despise nowadays. It's going to make it a hell of a lot easier. Fire at the crash poison ship until it is gone. How's this thing doing health-wise? We got a lot of shooting left to do. 600. We're doing 40 a shot, and we basically can't miss. Anybody going to haul that? Well, Toon, you're back at base, right? Okay, he's tossing. Oh, you just crawl in bed with Krusty. You and Toon just, uh, what are you, shacking up now? It's a little weird. I mean, I, I got nothing against it. If you guys want a you know, little uh, recreational, little recreational healing slash love action, I got, uh, you know, it's fine. We could probably give them medicine as well. I mean, medicine is currently banned for you guys, right? Yeah, you've got minor set of the plague. Your immunity is coming along okay. 38% immune to the plague after just a little bit of treatment. How are you doing? 38% immune? We'll be fine. The friendlies from Toll Brexos are leaving. I don't really care about that. How's Krusty? Where is Krusty, more importantly? Not in the hospital. He's 37% immune towards the plague. Did he get treatment? Uh, he's warm. He's got some booze. Alaska is coming in here to take apart this bad boy. You know, since Svegard's already going to be laid up in the old hospital. And by laid up, I mean, you know, he is getting down with Toon. Boom! Hey, uh, let's add a bill here, and we're going to install Skyther Blade. Wait, which one? Your left arm is the one that's shot off, right? Add a bill. Install. I can give him a Scyther Blade on his right hand, but I cannot give him a left arm. So we could give him, well, son of a bitch. Or did we just not haul the left hand back? Is that what it was? Did we only return with the right hand? Which side of their blade have we got? Hold on a second. He needs a left arm. What did, what did we bring back? Also, where is the thing that we brought back? Here it is. What did we bring back? It's a side of their blade. Is it right or left? 
Hand replacement with the telescoping blade. Scavenge from a dead sky, the mechanoid. Not very comfortable, but quite effective as a close range weapon. It doesn't appear to be handed. Maybe he's got to have an arm. We have two scyther blades just sitting in the vault. I guess he's going to have to get an actual arm. I, I would like to get Svegar to prosthetic. I mean, he, it, it sort of feels like he's he's earned it, doesn't it? We're going to shut you down since we can't steal any more of your body parts. Can't steal any more of your body parts. So we're going to shut you down, and I guess Alaska is going to disassemble you. I really feel guilty about leaving Svegard with the one arm. Also, he's got the whole alcohol withdrawal. The guy drops his gun all of the time because he's only got... I mean, he's basically rolling. We're going to start calling him Lefty. We call him Lefty because he only has the one arm, and it's actually his right arm that he's got. Or is it? Yeah, he only has a right arm, so we're definitely going to have to call him Lefty. Old Lefty Svegard, they call him. Cervexa, how are our fine meals doing? You know, let's collapse the thing here. No, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I want. 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 Not what I want. Categorize. That's what I want. There we go. So how are we doing on food? Pretty good. We got, okay, we're at 100 meals with 8 hearty meals there. We got some, yeah, this is good. All right. Uh, hello, who are you? You just showed up? Really, Kelly? Well, let's see if Kelly's worth a shit or not. She came equipped with a wooden mace, a cloth park, and some silver. Not really that excited by that. Also, I'm very much not excited about having another mouth to feed. She really likes Min because she's hot. She likes Toon because he murdered one of her enemies. Well, we've killed a lot of people, really. You're incapable of violence. You're incapable of caring or social. In fact, you straight up suck. Will you clean? She will cook. She can construct. Your growing is terrible, but you have a passion for it. You've Okay, well, congratulations, Lynx. I don't think you're going to be cleaning anymore. Lynx, you're off cleaning duty. We're going to put you down to a three. And Kelly, you're an altruist? Well, it's a damn good thing because you're going to be cooking and cleaning for the whole fucking colony. Get ready to start breaking your back hauling shit because I really don't have anything else for you to do. And if I'm going to feed you, you damn sure are going to earn your keep, Kelly. This is what happens when you show up uninvited. You get the shit job. Be like, wow, maybe I should have waited for an invitation. Instead of just walking in this colony, helping myself to some clothing and food, and be like, oh, hi, yeah, uh, by the way, I live here now. Everybody cool with that? Just uh, gonna take this cowboy hat. Don't mind me. I, uh, I don't have a bed to sleep in either. I'm gonna be probably sleeping in a barrack somewhere. No, that's fine, Kelly. Just just wander on in and make yourself at home like Jenny Garth did in the cast of 90210. Nobody liked fucking Kelly. Nobody liked Kelly. You could also maybe burn some of this clothing. Why are we not burning this stuff? Is it too good of quality? It's too good of quality. That's okay, though. Yeah, good job, Kelly. She, oh, she traded her... You traded a sweet raccoon leather cowboy hat for a cloth toque? Why would you consider such a thing? Fucking mad woman is what you are. Alaska is not producing components, but that's because he's growing. How are we doing on components? We got plenty of kibble. How are we doing on components, though? 55 components, 71 shotgun shells, 45 wart. How are we doing on metals and whatnot? We got a lot of cloth. Raw resources, that's sort of what I need to do. Okay, so we've got 630 silver, 682 steel, 394 plast steel. Which we were, at some point, I believe, mining, but we had to suspend for that poison ship. Is that thing destroyed, by the way? Yeah, we got it. Uh, what's on fire? Probably started by a lightning strike. The only thing that's really going to burn down is a Megatherium. We will... No reason to uh, not pick those up. No reason not to haul those scythers back to base. And no reason to not return to work mining this stuff. Get back to production. We got to get our Plasteel up and rolling. It's a key ingredient to get us off of this rock. Krusty Cornelius must survive. We got to get Krusty out of this dump. We ain't going to make it without Plasteel. We also maybe look around for some regular steel. Is there a deposit of regular steel anywhere? Toon needs a little treatment. Somebody else will get to that tune. You're the resident doctor. You're going to have to sort of tell them what to do. Oh, I don't like the look of this bear, though. Mm, Nine-year-old male grizzly bear. He could turn feral at basically any moment. 
Let's shut the power off to that. I think when people wake up in the morning, we're just going to go kill this bear. I don't want to risk having him run rogue on us and randomly devour a colonist. I'd like to encounter him in more of a controlled situation. Let's finish rearming these traps. We do need to rebuild also. One of our turrets got wrecked. I think we got we to gotta reconstruct the turret. Let's just put that right there. Takes 175 steel, which honestly is the bigger problem than the components at this point. Production. We also need to start working on the old ship. What's the next big piece of the ship? It seems like we should probably do a reactor, but we need 500 plasteel for that. We have everything but the plasteel that we need. And God, we need a tr just a truckload of plasteel. 500, 200. Just steel for the computer core. Just steel for crypto sleep caskets. So we need a total of 700 plasteel. We have just under 400. How much are we going to get out of mining these areas? If we get all of this mined, like how much plasteel will this produce? It also takes forever to mine plasteel, which is a little unfortunate. Kelly, will you mine? I'd really rather have you just cooking and cleaning. You're not good for anything. Who else could mine a little bit? Two. Got a one. Svegard has a two and one arm. Probably not a great idea. It's Krusty, of course, our ace miner. Uh, you know, Isamu as a geologist is a pretty good miner. Let's tag him up the two on mining. Kelly, rocking a zero. Brilliant. I guess uh, Pittman can chip in a little bit with the mining. What's he currently doing? He is constructing, repairing, wardening. Hauling and cleaning are also at a two for you. You know, let's let's just have... I don't want... No, throwing is at a two. I want to do... Uh, let's do your mining up to a two as well. Pittman failed while constructing a steel improvised turret. Some resources have been wasted. Nice work, Pittman. We didn't need that steel or anything. A colonist needs... Uh, what? What the hell is wrong with Toon? Whole body. Plague. Extreme. Untreat. Oh, good God. We have not been keeping up with this plague. Krusty, how is your plague? Your plague is also extra... Oh, good. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, sweet Lord. Okay. Hold on a second. Needs. Uh, character. Krusty. Needs. Health. Overview. Krusty gets good medicine. Toon uh, gets good medicine. Who is our second best doctor? Toon cannot tend to himself. We got a... This is, this is, okay, Svegard, uh, you're not doing anything. Okay, there's an emergency over here, Svegard. Don't, well, go rescue Toon. Now oh, stop whatever the hell it is you're doing, rescue Toon, and then go get some medicine and heal him. And then do the same for Krusty. In fact, we may have you heal Krusty first. Could anybody else, anybody else doctor at all? Cervexa the warrior has a nine. Okay, whatever Cervexa is doing, it's not as important as this. Cervexa, get up here and treat Krusty. Svegard, treat Toon. Guys, we're just you're just gonna let our people die, man. That's some callous shit. Also, we need these people to get off of this rock. There is no way we're letting Krusty Cornelius not escape this miserable dump of a rim world. You're gonna make it, Krusty. It's a good thing we've got our slowest colonists rushing to the rescue, too. Okay. Cervexa with 105% on Krusty. That's good. Let's take a look at his overall health. We probably don't need medicine on him anymore. So how's your overall health there, Krusty? How's your... your okay, it's coming along pretty nicely. Dune is... Yeah, I know we have some surveil illness. I'm, I haven't been paying close attention. Who else was the other person that got sick? Wasn't it you, Svegard? Did you just get a 31% treatment? He's 91% immune. Ah, uh, this, is, this is risky. All right. Let's, we got to keep an eye on this. You can do it, too, and I trust you to pull through. You only you got 6% to go, buddy. How about Krusty, the way more important person? Oh, shit. Is Toon dead? Toon is dead. This is not good at all. Toon has died because of plague. Krusty, you can lick this, buddy. Toon is going to... Krusty the clerk is no longer incapable of walking. Well, he can... So what, he's like mobile walking wounded here? 
Toon, you've been a loyal colonist. It was you and Krusty forever and ever and ever. We have got to get Krusty off of this Rimworld. This place is trying to kill him with a burning passion. Svegard is also... Well, Svegard already has immunity, so, I mean, yes, he's got the plague. He only has one arm, but I'm guessing all of the pickling that he's done to his own liver with the uh, endless series of mind-numbing intoxicants has made him basically immune to the plague. Like, plague? Plague can't kill Svegard. Svegard is boiled in alcohol. I'm basically sterile at all times. Oh, shit. Krusty did it! He developed immunity. All right, well, Toon Buddy, we're gonna we're gonna miss you uh, around the old uh, around the old homestead here. You were uh, you were a good colonist. You were. Are you guys just gonna leave him out to rot? That's fucking cold blooded. Also, we're gonna definitely strip him because Toon probably has some pretty nice clothes working. Somebody should equip Toon's sniper rifle. Who's uh, who's one of our better shots? Hey, there's an idea, Kelly the altruist. Can you can you hunt at all? Nope, you're you're actually incapable of violence. Got a two, got a two, got an 11. <gasps> Toon was Min's lover, though. Min is going to be absolutely heartbroken. My husband Toon died. Yep, she's real sad. Colonist died. My friend Toon died. Also, it disturbed my sleep when they woke me up to tell me that my husband was dead. And you know what? I'm almost, I'm 20% as pissed about being woken up as I am about my dead husband. God damn, you're a callous bitch, man. She's like, uh, you know, it sucks that he's dead. But what I'm really mad about is interrupting my beauty sleep. Because there's something, you know, he's, he'd still be dead in the morning. Did you have to wake me up? Pittman, how's your shooting? Bad. Lynx already has a sniper rifle. Pittman, you're not a great shot. Servax of the Warrior will only use clubs and other melee skills. I guess we'll give that gun to Asamu. Although I think Asamu has a minigun, doesn't he? Pretty sure he does. Svegard's a great shot, but he's only got one arm. It's going to be hard to snipe with a single arm there. I don't know. I guess maybe we'll just store that sniper rifle for now since Kelly refuses to fight. Oh, I'm a conscientious objector, Pete. Don't uh, don't try and shame me. I have beliefs. I have convictions. I have, you know, morals. I don't want to I don't want to have to harm another sentient. Oh, bullshit. This is the rim world. You're going to have to harm another sentient creature. It's just the way shit works. Also, Mine is steel. We need it. And uh, I'm going to make you mine down the wall of your own bedroom as well. We got to get all this steel. I have got to get Krusty off of this rim world. That's all there is to it. The rim world, we got to get out of here. If, if we don't get out of this rim world, it is going to kill us. That's all there is to it. The rim world will get us. And somebody build Tune a... A sarcophagus. I kind of feel like he deserves it. He was a fantastic colonist. I really should be more broken up by his death, but I'm so focused on getting Krusty the hell out of here before this rim world murders him. Uh, is that furniture? I'm trying to remember what a sarcophagus is under. It's like miscellaneous, right? There we go. Let's build him a fantastic sarcophagus. Can we build one out of marble blocks? Do we have enough? We do. All right. That only seems appropriate. We're going to do a marble sarcophagus for Toon. There you go, buddy. Sure, you're still dead, but, uh, you know, I'm going to make your Catalfac a work of art. One for the ages. It'll be like that thing they built for Isaac Newton, where they just got that weird, that sort of picture. Breakdown. The comms console is broken. Eh, somebody will fix that. Got a psychic drone picking up. All the female colonists are going to be a little upset. That's doubly bad news for men. Husband dies. Yeah, uh, that's that's for Toon. Husband's dead, being left out to rot in the noonday sun. Krusty went and stole his fucking hat. Uh, it's like when somebody at work dies and everybody takes a little piece of, uh, everybody steals office supplies from him. Be like, you know, I think, uh, I think Toon would have wanted me to have this coffee cup. I really do. So mining's coming along. Is anybody mining this plasteel? We, we got to get the plasteel mined. Oh, hell yeah. Isamu is up here wrecking shop. Look at him go. He's dug out 105 already. That's some damn fine work, son. Damn fine work. Keep at it. Isamu, the geologist, he's one. Well, I mean, he's doing, he's executing his mandate. He's a geologist. Who would have thought he'd be a good digger? He's not as good as that digger that the people of Tolbrexos brought over because he was straight up a digger. 
That guy would have probably been excellent at building turrets. He wouldn't have fucked it up. It would have been like, my turret is perfect. That's a that's another Overwatch joke. You know what? I think on the, the that's, that's like my seventh or eighth Overwatch joke of the episode. I'm gonna check out on this one. I'm just not. I guess uh, I don't know. Something's wrong today. The the humor button is off. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see us complete construction of this ship and get the hell off of this rock before Krusty Cornelius dies of the plague or malaria or some other bullshit disease, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of RimWorld every single day. Did I just say every single day? Because we don't. I actually post RimWorld every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, though, see, I'm telling you, uh, it's, it's uh, maybe Toon's death is subtly affecting me. I got like some post-traumatic issues. I'm going to go work through those. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.